Let's uh, get some more on this. Bring in uh, Francesco Rizzuto. He is the Dean of uh, Law at Liverpool Hope University and joins us now from the UK. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. Um, this case in the United States, it's a, it's a big fine for Lafarge, $780 million almost, but uh, no individuals have been implicated. Why is that? Well, because they plea bargained, essentially, so that they didn't have to go to full uh, trial. Um, they pleaded guilty, full stop, uh, in the United States. But I do think it is important to, to and, and I'm no expert on French intelligence, though it does seem sound on the basis of what you presented, that something, um, how can I put it, opportunistic or uh, an intelligence operation gone wrong. But we must not forget that there are seven people, seven former executives of Lafarge who are being prosecuted for crimes against humanity in France. It went uh, at first instance to the Brussels Court of Appeal that had thrown it out. It then went to the uh, Court of Cassation, the Supreme Court in France, that basically sent back the case and said no, that these people should stand trial. So um, the, the case is even more complicated than, than, than we can imagine, because on the one hand, we have the judicial systems and prosecutors, both in the United States and France, taking action against the individuals who were uh, allegedly uh, the perpetrators of uh, this quite disgraceful uh, form of behavior with ISIS. Um, and uh, of course, we have the intelligence uh, uh, track. So it will be interesting to see when the case finally comes to trial in France um, what the outcome is and what the evidence is in a court of law. Because at the moment we have leaks and counter leaks, with all due respect to, to uh, the presentation by your intelligence colleague earlier on. But, but I think the evidential basis has to be demonstrated in a court of law as being uh, like, uh, overwhelmingly proving uh, the case that the French intelligence services were working hand in hand with Lafarge uh, in order to pay ISIS, probably in order to gain intelligence and so on. So complicity um, is this is truly a, a complicated mess. If the case is proven against Lafarge and that Lafarge executives were working hand in hand with French intelligence, who knew of all of this, and that the Minister of Finance in France uh, was at the time Macron, this, then this will be, I guess, a very, very embarrassing um, state of affairs. It certainly will be, and it's an unprecedented case according to the Department of Justice in the United States, and we will wait to see uh, the punishments handed out to those individuals if indeed they are prosecuted for crimes against humanity. Uh, Francesca, we thank you very much for your time. That was comprehensive. I appreciate you coming on the programme.